What's up guys, Barry Gaming, you're back with some more Idle Heroes, and today I think we are going to try something with our current standing of our kind of team here. Um, so we are definitely going to change something up here because what I really want to do is I want to build multiple of these Devil's Power for now. Now the nice thing is I can make one Splendid or multiple Glittery, that's not a big issue. The big issue is just making sure we pick the right artifacts to go for. So, right now, I don't think we have any extra sitting in the bag. Doesn't look like it. Oh, we actually have a lot of essence, which is cool. Uh, we might need that. I don't know if we will or not. Let me just grab it all out of the bag, just in case. Blah, blah, blah. Boo, boo, boo. Let's go over here. Let's grab some of our old chests and just grab two more regular magic stone swords out. And then beyond that, we have to make sure we pick the correct one in this workshop. So we want to go defensive, right? yeah so defensive again is that shield from the other chest so let's go ahead and grab two more shields out we have both of them ready to go now let's chuck this on to you right here where is that magic stone sword at down here awesome we have to level this up which yeah i guess we did need a lot of these resources let's just turn a ton of this into dust perfect perfect yeah, 7,500 should be enough right there to get this guy maxed out. Keep going, get this up to a six star, and then we're ready to go to make some more things happen. Now, again, like I said, our heroes aren't in tip top ship shape form, whatever you want to call it. Uh, oh, wait, actually, no, I didn't need to level that up. Whoops. I only needed this at this point. Either way, we're making more Devil's Power. We're deifying them. We're getting them done. I guess if I do this, does it bring it back down to a one star? Oh, it does. I'm so stupid. I just wasted time. <laughs> so basically what I have to do is I have to take one more of these and just redo what I just did. <laughs> oh, Barry, you're stupid. Anyway, let's get this going. Let's get the Devil's Power up. And I think this is going to be one of the best seal land artifacts we have ever seen. Because again, my main goal on this account at this point, of course, is to push things like uh, Void Campaign. But I really want to get sealand land completed. And in order to do that, I think these guys are going to be a must. So now we have the two more additional ones created. Forge them up. Now we have two of these glittery, <laughs> glittery devil's power. So... Let's see how this turns out. I'm kind of intrigued to see if this is actually a good play. I kind of want to see if Balance Strike actually works on these heroes as well. I don't know if we need to run damage reduction. I really don't know. Attribute Purify, you think that's that might work? Honestly, having a lot of Control Purify now at our disposal is kind of a cool thing too. So our crit chance, 76, that is pretty solid. Uh, we like skill damage. Maybe get rid of the precision for more control immunity because now with this artifact, uh, we can go up to 96.3% control immunity. So that's pretty sweet. And then, of course, we have Yorm Tum with uh, 48. But again, same situation here. We can go with like a control immunity setup, which gives us another 35%. And yeah, maybe we also set this up. Let's just see what it looks like. Double Devil's Power, and then beyond that, who are our other heroes? We have Natalia, and then of course we're going to run both of our other Transcendence heroes, even though they're kind of weak right now. Uh, Crowns are probably the play, just because they're a little on the weak side. We could use a Splendid uh, Magic Stone Sword here too, but let's just, let's just go with what we got right now. We are currently pushed to 30 eight we haven't gone further than that and i want to see what this looks like so we're going to take two of these heroes out and put these two heroes in we're going to stick with yorm tum there looks good we haven't had many power upgrades on our account since i really just want to see how these magic stone swords work and if they're tanky enough so front row definitely not strong enough we need to put a different hero in the front row because those hits do add up but Yorm Tum is hitting pretty hard. We get the shield. <sighs> yeah, I, I, we just got to position a little better. A little bit better for this here. Put Eos in the front row because we really don't care if she dies because she puts that sun effect up, which is going to be a burn synergy, which will be nice. And now we have both of them in the back row still somehow getting crowd controlled, which is insane to think about. So big hit there. Full heal. That's awesome. Ooh, yeah, the fact that they're going before us, too, is a big downside. I don't think Balance Strike 
is going to be the play. I just want to see kind of what this is going to do for us. The Magic Stone Sword is giving us some healing too, which is nice. Maybe wanting running like Vulcan super tank mode in the front row could be a really good strategy too. Uh, the fact that they're able to CC us though, even with like 96% control immunity, our heroes are still managing to get crowd controlled, which is just crazy to think about. I am tempted though to run like a tank Vulcan front row at this point. Because I think if we do something like that, tanky Vulcan with like offensive Yorm Tum, I mean, look at the power Yorm Tum has. It's insane how strong he can be until he can't dodge anymore. <laughs> so let's do this. Number one, I think we still want to run. Control Purify, and we probably don't care about this as much. Let's go with the damage reduction node there. Uh, I think we can still run Balance Strike on both of these heroes, but I'm going to change this up just a little bit. I still like Skill Precision. Let's change this up. So let's go to Tanky Nodes on him to see how that turns out. We're going to get Block Chance. We're going to do all those things. We're going to run our Vulcan in the front row. And again, his tenants aren't in the best situation possible. Uh, but this does potentially save Natalia to do some better things. Nope, he is still too weak to that first round of hits, which is insane. Maybe we put Yorm Tum in the front. I don't know. Or maybe we just go somewhere in the middle with both of these heroes. The artifacts definitely seem to be doing some strong stuff for us. It's just, again, getting crowd controlled is a pain in the butt because when we're not crowd controlled, we do some crazy stuff. Luckily, Yorm Tum dodges a ton, but dodging only lasts so long, especially if you're getting hit with a crowd control. So, move over to that, see how this turns out. And maybe even on our other heroes, like our Asmodel and our uh, Eos... We could run the Auspicious Lucky Cat on them, too. I don't know. A lot of this is RNG where they're hitting. Yeah, no. I guess putting him in the front row is not the best play here. Maybe we go Golden Crown on Natalia. Or, or maybe we put this artifact on Natalia since she's so tanky as it is. Although we could get a win right here just from one act if it's crazy. I think we got it now. Yeah, once we just get rid of those crazy amounts of CCs that add up, I think we're just good. Okay, so that's not bad. Yeah, actually, let's do this. Let's go back to something more traditional. Maybe like a fan on Vulcan. And go back to something more crit precision oriented. Yeah, I like that. And then let's do this right here. Put that on you. You're pretty tanky, right? Yeah, you're super tanky. Although we don't really need that control immunity per se. I'd rather go for more armor at this point on her and make her a brick wall. Let's see how that goes. Because we're going to... This one might be easier. You never know. It just depends on the team compositions here. And let's put her in the front row. Put our two S tiers in the back row and see what happens here. So... With her, that shield, and this artifact... It, hmm, still taking huge hits. But this does give Vulcan enough time to survive and get at least one active off and really once we get an active off on each one of them oh healing curses i kind of forgot that healing curses were a thing huh <laughs> that's completely nuking us so we, the shield and this artifact is doing good work together kind of sort of i like the fan i think on the vulcan maybe although a crown just might be better Oh my gosh, yeah, that, that that fan paid some dividends right there, okay? That paid some pretty good dividends keeping us going. Uh, but I think maybe the Magic Stone Sword would be better on someone else, and just running a crown on her would play better. Yeah, the Healing Curse is just nuking us, but the problem is it's nuking us in the middle of a round. Ugh! Oh my gosh, I missed Vulcan. I missed those types of actives right there. So, swappy time. Mark Purify. Mark Purify. Mark Purify. Let's see how this does right here. 
it could be good maybe kind of sort of again i kind of feel like putting the devil's power back on our vulcan though at this point and just running her with a crown yeah see she's got that mark again but she removes it end of the round which is good does give her some more survivability we got two actives coming Well, I'll call that pretty successful so far. What do you guys think? We will continue pushing this, but I really want to power up our account first. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit of a teaser here. We're going to see if we can push a little bit further. And I want to get more of those devil's power for sure. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.